to the premier edition of Buckeye Web News. I'm Debbie Frazier, and this is what's happening at Ohio State Marion. Ohio State Marion psychology professor Dr. Tracy Tilka recently co-authored a book entitled Healthy Eating in Schools, Evidence-Based Interventions to Help Kids Thrive. Dr. Tilka says this model serves as a guide to implement more effective programs in schools that foster physical and psychological health via body acceptance and intuitive eating a flexible, healthy eating behavior involving awareness of the body's hunger and satiety cues. The book release is scheduled for April 15th of this year. Do you want to get published? The Cornfield Review is accepting submissions in written word and new media formats. Send in your audio, video, animations, hypertext, web pages, flash-based video games, text art, and other formats. All submissions will be considered for the 8th edition of the online supplement to our annual print journal. Submissions can be made to Professor Ben McCorkle. Deadline for both formats is Wednesday, February 20th. For more information, contact Ben McCorkle. It's time to submit your free application for federal student aid, known as the FAFSA. There are several dates available to receive assistance with filling out the 2013-2014 FAFSA application. FAFSA completion nights are a free service provided by The Ohio State University at Marion, Marion Technical College, and the ICANN Center of Excellence, but pre-registration is required. For dates, times, and information, or to register, visit osumarion.osu.edu forward slash FAFSA underscore registration or call the Ohio State Marion Office of Financial Aid at 740-725-6242. You should plan to submit your FAFSA no later than February 15th for best consideration. Even if you are not anticipating a grant or a loan, most scholarships do require that you submit your FAFSA with your scholarship applications. It's time to start thinking about presenting your research at the Denman Undergraduate Research Forum. The Denman Forum will be held on Thursday, March 28th in the RPAC on Columbus campus. Applications and guidelines for the 2013 Denman Forum are now available at denman.osu.edu. Abstracts must be submitted no later than Friday, February 8th at 5 p.m. Our campus blood drive will happen on Valentine's Day from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Show a little love and give some blood. You can contact Dave Beckel in the Student Center or make an appointment online at redcrossblood.org. Enter in OSU Marion Tech for the event code. The Science Cafe continues its series on Tuesday, February 5th at 7 p.m. at the Infinity Restaurant in Marion's historic Harding Hotel. This month's discussion on women in Ohio's prisons will be presented by Brenda Cheney from Ohio State's Sociology Department. For more detailed information on this and future science cafes, visit us at osumarion.osu.edu. Over the past few weeks, there has been a person on campus attempting to scam money out of students and staff. Remember, never give money to any person you do not personally know, even if they give you a hard luck story. There are several options for a person if they need assistance. Direct them to one of the counselors or a staff member. If the person does need assistance, the university has formal procedures to assist those in need. How are you coping with the change from quarters to semesters? Buckeye News reporter Stevie Evans interviewed faculty and students to see how they are faring. Last June marked the end of The Ohio State University's 90-year run with the quarter system. The switch from quarters to semesters sparked quite a buzz around campus, especially for professors and returning students. For some, the transition went smoothly, but for others, there were drawbacks. The semester system has allowed the classes to expand with the amount of literature that we've discussed and so in a way it has given students and the professor in this case more time to think about the conversations that we have over a period of you know, 15 weeks 
rather than ten. And so I've really welcomed that. Um, I like quarters because it's shorter and you don't forget the material from the beginning of the semester. Uh, for me, the quarters to semester change meant spending more time with professors I enjoy. Uh, longer time to study for tests, maybe less tests for some professors. Uh, gives you some time to actually interact and go farther into the material than what you thought you were going to before. A little bit of a drawback is, obviously, if you don't like uh, the class that you're in, you have to stay in it longer. I honestly think they're trying to add more material. From what I've noticed, it seems like they're trying to add more material to fit, fill the slots. But for the most part, they don't focus, they don't focus on as much. It's much more broad. This is Stevie Evans reporting for Buckeye Web News. Several scholarships are available for the next academic year, including the Benjamin A. Gilman International Scholarship for Students Receiving Pell Grant Funding, the Florence Allen Scholarship for Women, for both traditional and non-traditional students. Even CollegeHumor.com is offering scholarships for the average student. Keep in mind that deadlines vary and are quickly approaching for each scholarship. More information on these and other scholarships can be found in your Buckeye Briefs or in the Office of Financial Aid. Thank you for joining us, joining us on Buckeye Web News. Join us again in two weeks to see what's happening at Ohio State Marion.